Hey, good afternoon. And it's a very good afternoon because we are currently on the cruise ship. Yes, right now we are aboard the Norwegian Sky cruise ship. I go by the legend. That is my wonderful girlfriend, Molly. This video here, we're going to show you all around the Norwegian Sky, starting here with the heart and soul of any cruise ship, and that is the Lido deck. And um, I feel like if you're into swimming, it's a good Lido deck for you as yes. they have two different pools, both pretty good size. In the middle between the pools, they do have some hot tubs. Which I love how they have an overhang over the hot tubs. Yes, uh, they have a very, very large pool bar. Now speaking of uh, drinks, you can't take your drinks inside the pool. No. They can be on the outer rim, Yeah. But that's the most that they can be. Which is uh, kind of a bummer. Like yes. I like to have a drink at the pool. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of guests we've talked to have said like that is not cool either. Yes, it's a negative. But what is fun, full-length basketball, basketball court up there. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, this giant pool bar down at the bottom on deck 11, that's going to be busy a lot. Now I'm going to turn around. This one, if it's open here on deck 12, not normally as busy. No. So uh, if you get the opportunity and you see this one's open, come up here. And this is your smoking section right over here. Yeah, under that those helps. umbrellas, which is cool if you're smoking. Uh, we don't smoke, so for us, it's not really somewhere we'd like to sit, but a lot of people would enjoy it. They do have a stage right here where they'll do uh, uh, dance parties, they'll do uh, live music acts. There's one getting ready to go on right now. And I love the globe party. They do a big deck party, and one of our favorite deck parties, outside of probably like the Disney Cruise Lines that happens, is right here on the Norwegian ship. So it was yeah, a lot of fun last night. Yeah. All right, so that's the Lido deck. Let's check out the rest of the ship. On deck 12, towards the back of the ship, they do have two different shuffleboard ports. And uh, they're pretty nice. They are. If you go all the way to the front of the ship on deck 12, you're greeted to what is a uh, kind of a family pool or a small pool uh, only a half meter deep. I imagine that's probably supposed to be like a functioning waterfall, but it's yeah, not either not working or turned off. And there's a hot tub as well. Um, also in this area of the ship, you will find a lot of loungers for sunbathing and you'll be away from the noise of the pool deck. So if you just want like kind of some peace, if there's no kids in the family pool, you might be able to find it over here. It's definitely not the best view for sail away though, for being at the front Yeah, ship. I mean, that is uh, probably a six and a half feet tall of glass that isn't the cleanest. Right by the stage on the pool deck, there are a couple of ping pong tables kind of located off here in the corner. On deck six, right in the middle of the ship, you'll find the Bliss Lounge. And this is kind of a hub of entertainment here on the ship, used for a lot of different things. Uh, there'll be seminars and talks in here during the day. There'll be some trivia and game shows in here. And they do like big game shows pretty much every night of the cruise. Last night they did... Sing it if you know it. Yes, tonight it's the Love and Marriage show as well as uh, the Wheel of Ill Will. I will say for the game shows, it does. it's not the biggest lounge. No, it gets very, very crowded. Yeah, so definitely. Come here early. Yeah, and um, I recommend the couches over there. They're super duper comfortable. Mm -hmm. And then this also becomes the nightclub. There'll be a party band in here. So if you're looking for entertainment, you'll probably spend a lot of time here in the Bliss Lounge, Deck 6 midship. DJ sometimes too. Yeah, nightclub. On Deck 11, in the back of the ship, you will find the local, which is kind of a sports bar and grill. Now the cool thing about this is they have complimentary food items that are served from about five to six until five in the morning. So I got buffalo wings, which are very spicy. Uh, Molly got a burger. And it's kind of like where we always end our night here on the Norwegian Sky. On deck 11, all the way in the front of the ship, you'll find the Spinnaker Observation Lounge. Now this was the main purpose of this lounge is during the evening, this is the karaoke bar on board the ship. And during the day, it's just a really tranquil place to hang out in the air conditioning. Yes, it's a gorgeous view with air conditioning. Yeah, so if you um, want to sail in or out of a port and get a good view without being outside in the heat, or maybe there's inclement weather, this would definitely be the place to do so. It is also the place to, I think, watch sail away outside too. Oh yeah, absolutely, because if you go through this door here, Molly's going to help me out and open that for me and we're gonna head outside and this is gonna be your best view of the front of the ship here aboard watch your step uh oh the front of the ship here on the Norwegian sky unlike the top deck where you have glass this is yeah this unobstructed views also not it was not super crowded here during sail away mm -hmm. yesterday no we got a 
place right at the fence and we did not show up uh, early at all. And there we go. We're here in the, uh, the port of Nassau this morning. You can see the Atlantis Resort over there in the background. Located on deck six in the middle of the ship, you'll find the Sugarcane Mojito Bar, which is the only bar on the ship that really has kind of a different menu. Uh, I will give you a heads up. A lot of the drinks on the, the menu are pre-mixed, but it is a very popular bar for lots of things. You're gonna have uh, music in here in the evenings, and this will be your main trivia bar. Uh, for me, the good drink was the Saturn Landing. They're taking on the traditional Saturn Tiki drink. And um, it's also one of the few drinks we're doing. Not pre mixed, so I'm going to go with the Saturn. On deck six, you'll find a wraparound deck. So if you need to get some fresh air after the nightclub, or just come and enjoy sunset at sea, or some ocean views, you can do that here. Also recommend using the walking trail on deck six, as if you come all the way in the back of the ship, you have this beautiful, beautiful view of the aft. So if you have a, a sea day, or you want a, kind of a peaceful time when you're sailing out of a port, this would be a great place to do so. As we're here tonight in the Bahamas with the Great Stirrup K and Perfect Day Coco K in the background. On deck seven in the middle of the ship, you'll find the Sky Casino. Now, Molly, you and I, we're not really big gamblers. No. So the casino is not going to be a place you and I spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I will say it's a, a, for a smaller ship, it's a pretty big casino. Yes. Um, and you've got a lot of games. All the table games are going to be here in the middle. And then a lot of very modern slot machine type games as well. They do have a, a lot of machines in here. Yes. And I think it's no smoking. I, I'm not, I couldn't tell you there. We, we've not been in here. We probably won't come in here. I believe it said no smoking. That, I saw. that might just be because it's closed it so as well. Be. It might be. Um, you do have the, the multi games. Those are my favorites. Those are like your video poker and things like that. You've also got the coin games, which are, you know, not great odds, but really fun to play. And it wouldn't be a casino without a casino bar. And they do have a big TV behind it and video poker on the bar. So that, I always like that. Video poker is like my game of choice when I have to play in a casino. And then they got, you know, kind of your, your other games that are not quite the best uh, value, but kind of fun to watch other people play or play yourself, like Keymaster. On deck six and seven in the back of the ship, one of the rare cruise ships for the theater is in the back of the ship. You do have the main show lounge. This is gonna be the theater on board. And um, we're on a three night cruise. We saw three different shows. Uh, the first night was a comedian, uh, Mr. Stevens, yes. who was very happy, very fun. I enjoyed him. He was, he was good. Night two was interesting. Um, it was uh, called Showdown. Kind of a mix between like Motown meets American Idol. A show that was very simple, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, the crowd votes uh, which singer gets out of the four main singers that they have. Yeah, it, it was awesome. I, I really enjoyed it. It's different. Very I, different. I, yeah, it's a very simple concept, but easy. Tonight is going to be, uh, the show we're about to see is Rock You Tonight, which I'm guessing is going to be exactly what you think it is, a cruise ship rock and roll show. But um, I will say the, the theater is not used for anything else except for the shows in the evening, which I don't like. I feel like this could easily be a movie theater during the day. Yes. And they, they don't do that. Other Norwegian ships do. However, the couches, not comfortable. No. You can't really see it, but those couches don't sit there. Sit in the individual chairs. And even those are just, just kind of okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, but the, the entertainers themselves, very, very good. On deck five, you'll find the lower floor of the atrium area. And not a lot happens in here. Some Norwegian ships you go on, and the atrium's always like a constant hub of activity all day long. Not really on this ship, but they it's do- a little bit smaller than most. Oh yeah. Um, but you do have some important stuff. You do have guest services over here, as well as the onboard credit desk. Um, you'll have an entrance to one of the main dining rooms, the palace dining room. Molly, you like this. These stairs are kind of intricate with like the, the color jewels kind of things on them. Yeah, it gives it a pop of color. Mm -hmm. Um, also, more important things you'll find over here in the atrium area, your shore excursions desk, 
restaurant and reservations, as well as your Cruise Next area. Um, there's also gonna be your port shopping desk is over here. I will say Cruise Next, pretty good deal. Um, I don't normally buy cruises when I'm on cruises, but Norwegians is pretty good. Like you could go buy like, essentially $500 in gift cards for $250. So it is a really good deal if you're gonna cruise again. Yes. On deck six in the atrium area, you've got the internet cafe and the internet help desk. So if you have problems logging on to like your phone, if you have the internet plan, you would do that in here. They also have some of your more high value shopping areas for here on deck six. Not something me and Molly would normally visit. You do have the watch store. So if you wanna buy a big old fancy watch, you could do that over here. Uh, and on deck six in the atrium area is also the Epi jewelry store, which is uh, very, very popular. It is. On deck six in the atrium area, you'll find two really kind of interesting machines. First of all, I'm a big theme park guy, and I love that the Norwegian Sky has their own press penny machine. And you can get different kind of logos. You can get one with the ship on it, or kind of the ship's hull design. I don't think I've ever seen this before. No, it's, it's really neat. And they also have this, a capture the moment machine. So you could take a souvenir photo for free. Hi, there I am. Big old camera, Mickey Mouse t-shirt. <laughs> um, and send it home to your friends and family, or you can even like make it a gift to post on Twitter. So that's a really cool feature. On deck seven in the atrium area, you'll find the atrium bar, which is a very chill bar. Um, they do have entertainment in here in the evening time. There's lots of different kinds of stuff in here. I've seen a guitar guy in here, a piano guy in here, as well as the, um, the Latin duo being here. And if you have tons and tons of money, well, this is the bar you could go ahead and buy some Louis the 13th. $80 for half the ounce. Yeah. Not not something I will ever do, but if you want to, it's here. Try it out. What? On deck seven in the atrium area, you will find the art gallery on board the Norwegian Sky. It's one of the smallest art galleries we've seen. Yeah, wow. but the staff in there are very friendly. Yes. They'll do different art events every day of the cruise. And if you come, you get a free piece of art to take home with you. Mm -hmm. And it'll be different on each event. So that's pretty neat. There are two different main dining rooms here on the Norwegian Sky. The Palace main dining room, deck five in the middle of the ship in the atrium area. And the one we are going to be dining at tonight on the second night of our cruise. And that is the Crossings dining room, located on deck five in the back of the ship. Both dining rooms are one level dining rooms and each one will serve the same menu every night of the cruise. For me, I like the one in the back of the ship because it's gonna be more windows and you kinda get the better view. As we cruise past the lighthouse here in Nassau, Bahamas, we've got tonight's menu. It's really nice, it is a practical menu, not a QR code. And here's the selection of appetizers. Some change every night, some are there. Uh, you know, every night you're here, some are not. We got spring rolls, spinach and artichoke dip, smoked salmon tartare, bruschetta. I had that yesterday, it was really good. Uh, Molly had smoked mozzarella ravioli yesterday. It was really good. French onion soup, a classic, Caesar salad, of course. Yep. Now your classic entrees, those will be there every single night of the cruise. Let's go check out what we got tonight on the featured entrees. Pepper crusted roast beef, bacon and bourbon glazed chicken breast. Those are two things I like, on top of something I also enjoy. Uh, Pacific hockey fish, shrimp pasta alla vodka, head thai, ooh, parmesan crusted pork chop, as well as some wine recommendations. And there is a full wine list on the table as well. After you place your order, the first course is a bread course. You got three different types of bread in here. And then some butter. The appetizer course has been served. Molly opted for the uh, the spring rolls. Mm -hmm. Now for me, I didn't see anything I really liked on the appetizer menu. I saw a lot I liked on the entree menu. So it's a cruise ship, so I ordered two entrees. This one is the bacon and bourbon glazed chicken. So while I didn't find any appetizer I liked, Molly found two she liked, and she went with for her second one, the French onion soup. Not, not so much, not a ton of cheese on there. No. That's my favorite part of French onion soup, it's the cheese. It is actual main course time, and both of these look really, really good. I went with the roast beef. Uh, Molly, I think you've got the winner. The Parmesan crusted pork chop. It looks great. Giant. 
It has been a delightful meal so far, but now we got the dessert menu. We got a mint chocolate mousse, apple strudel, Boston cream pie, warm chocolate amaretto cake, cherry jubilee, seasonal fruit plate, ice cream and sherbet, the no sugar added carrot cake, and then some coffee. The desserts indeed look good. Molly got the effort eight chocolate mousse, and I got something I always enjoy, a Boston cream pie. On deck 11, towards the front of the ship, is where you'll find the Mandara Spa and Salon on board the Norwegian Sky. And while me and Molly were not the biggest spa people, but this is where you'll want to be if you want to do any of those massages or salon services, check out deck 11 in the front of the ship. On deck 11, towards the front of the ship, you'll find the Pulse Fitness Center. Um, pretty small as far as gyms on cruise ships go. Definitely not one of the larger ones. I do like that they have TVs in pretty much just about every single uh, one of the cardio machines. Not a lot of weight machines in here, you do have some free weights over on the end. On the top of the ship in deck 12, you will find the Pinnacle Lounge and Sushi Bar. Now, there's not gonna be any entertainment in here, it's gonna be a very quiet area. Um, if you do like sushi, you can come in here, it's gonna be an extra charge. You need to do so, uh, order your sushi at the bar over there. Um, but it's also a very nice quiet lounge. Yes, they do run the normal bar menu. However, but there's you, two sakis. Yeah, so like if you're on the, the beverage package, if you like sake, I don't mind sake. I got a, a creamy sake, which is not bad, but also like, hey, do you know what? I'm on the beverage plan, so why not? And uh, if you want to have a good quiet conversation, this is a good lounge to do that. Located on deck 11, in the back of the ship, you'll find the Garden Cafe, which is the main buffet on board the Norwegian Sky. And we're gonna show you what's for lunch here on a port day. Starting off at the soup station, you've got a beef and matzo ball soup, a mushroom soup, and then the most logical thing next, ice cream. This is cool, panini press. Yeah. Like uh, a chicken tandoori much. panini, that looks good. Um, you do also have a, a drink station over here for coffees, Juices, iced tea, lemonade. All complimentary. Yep. A uh, milk machine in the morning. Let's see, uh, I love this. I had this yesterday for lunch, the make your own pasta station. You get to like, pick your sauce, meatballs, everything you want in there, that was very good. Now this is not as much meat, this is going to be salads. Create but, your own salads. Yes. So let's see what we got for lunch. We got a, a grilled vegetable with fajita seasoning. Uh, chili quesadillas, Ooh. a grilled fish with mango cilantro salsa, Ooh, a Mexican grilled flank steak, Mexican spice chicken breast, uh, you got some beans, Mexican chicken lasagna, the potatoes look really good. This I like. Yeah, I, I guess taco it's a station? taco station. Like create your own tacos? Yeah, this is going to be a um, carving station sometimes. Yes. Yesterday for dinner was prime rib. It was. And then you do have um, ooh, a muffle lettuce sandwiches. But the buffet on the ship, it is very, very small. And it's only on one side of the ship. It is going to be on uh, the, the right side. Let's see, you got fruits. Ooh, that is a Molly dessert. Yes. Coconut cheesecake. I love cheesecake. Plum, jello, and a Mexican chocolate cake. And that's what lunch looks like. And it does repeat on that side right over there. Yeah. Turn the camera back on real quick, because for lunch on the buffet, on the conversation on the other side, was barbecue pork spare ribs. The buffet always has a really good bread selection as well, like today's cheesy garlic bread, and they've got pretzel sticks. Now, if you go all the way through the Garden Cafe Buffet, towards the back of the ship, you'll get to an area that's known as the Great Outdoors. Uh, lots of outdoor seating out here. And there's gonna be a secondary buffet with different menu options. So there's gonna be a salad bar, cold cuts with cheese, and there's gonna be some stuff that's kind of always out here. You got the big, uh, very much the 7-Eleven style hot dog roller. And then burgers and fries and stuff. Cheese oh, sauce. And cheese sauce. Ooh, look at that cheese nice. sauce. Um, you also are going to have some Indian food out here as well. Pretty much every meal. Now, I will recommend coming out here, especially in the morning time at breakfast. <laughs> the indoor buffet gets very crowded. 
This one, there was like no line for omelet stations this morning and uh, lots of good options. And of course you have your own uh, drink stations again. Yeah. And a bar. Yes, there's a very nice bar in here. This bar runs very long hours. So if you're on the beverage plan, like most people, you come out here at 7 a.m. and get your Bellini. And then if it's a nice day, you can hang out over here and just enjoy the views off the aft of the ship. Looking in on deck 11, right by the buffet, you'll find La Casina, which in the evenings becomes the upcharge Italian restaurant. Uh, feel free to pause the video to find out what the menu looks like. No cheap probably is really good here. Yeah, I would, I would assume so. Pizzas and secondary options. Everything's a la carte. But La Casina, with it being right by the buffet, it, it isn't just a, a one course meal. So in the morning, this area becomes spur seating for the buffet. As the buffet on the ship is very small, but there's a lot of seating in here. It's gonna be very, very open. And very quiet. Yes. Always a seating here. And then they also have for lunch, they're gonna have pizza. So if you want pizza, you would come in here to get pizza every day for lunch. But this friendly staff. Located right by the pool, over by the buffet, you do get soft serve ice cream. Right now we're in deck seven, towards the front of the ship. And I would say, unless you have kids, you probably don't want to be in deck seven towards the front of the ship. But if you do have kids, it's probably a better place. That's because you gotta walk through this hallway of staterooms to get to the kids club on board, the sky. It's gonna be the Splash Academy. Uh, they're not open right now, as it's a port day, but you look in there and see the kids got sized chairs. It's a very colorful home. Oh yeah. It's great for kids. And, and if you do have kids, you could always uh, come and spy on them. Yeah, see how well they're doing. Mm -hmm. And while the uh, Splash Academy is not open right now, the video arcade is. And um, not the biggest arcade you'll find on a ship, but they, uh, they pack as much as they can into a pretty small space. You've got prize games and video games in here. I like how they have a seat for like parents watching their kids. Yes. And one thing I like about the Norwegian ships is that you can buy like an arcade pass. Mm -hmm. for the, I'm not sure what the price is, but you can buy like an arcade package and play all the video games you want. Not the prize games, just the video games. All cruise long for a set fee. And I think that's a really, really cool idea. Like there's not a ton for kids to do on this ship, but like that, as, a, as especially a guy that grew up going to arcades, you that, would would be, that would be my favorite thing about this ship if I was a kid. And they got a lot of modern stuff. You got Halo, Star Wars, Jurassic Park, motorcycles. So cool. I will say uh, the hull design on the Norwegian sky, very pretty, pretty. Kind of feels like a Hawaiian lei on the side of the ship. It does, it feels like it should be a Hawaiian On deck six in the middle of the ship, you'll find the photo gallery. So if you took any of those pictures on board, you would come here and look at them on all these computers. And um, they do have some very interesting options, like lots of different kind of 3D prints you can get in crystal form. Yeah, look at that like perfume type bottle. It has different uh, pictures on every four sides as well as the top. Very interesting. They do have a lot of really cool frames. Like you get this Norwegian cruise line porthole with your picture in it. I like these kind of beachy chairs you can get a picture in. They have elephant like towel. Towel animals. animals. And then what I really like is the uh, the various Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. So whether you want like... An elephant. An elephant, a Christmas elephant, Santa, a cruise ship that you can put a couple pictures on. An anchor. So, some fun options. On deck six, right by the photo gallery, you'll find the ship's library. The library does operate at certain times if you want to come and check in in or out a lot of the books. There's also some meeting space and card rooms in the back. And uh, we took a look at the library. Yeah, there's a lot of options. But you know what, Molly? Do you know which option they don't have? Um, you know. Experience the Point by our own Andrew Hyde. But you know what, now they will. We'll go over here to the book exchange section. All right, find a good spot for it. There we go, so if you wanna come and read Hyde's work, uh, he's a member of our staff here at In The Loop, and uh, he wrote that book a number of years ago, so we leave it on every cruise ship. It's signed. And it is autographed by the author himself. Don't steal it, come here, read it, check it out, take your picture with it, send it to us on social media. On deck 11, located in between La Casina and the local is Entourage. Now this is the teen club on board. Now if you couldn't have guessed, me and Molly, well we are not quite teens, 
so we can't go in there. It's ages 13 to 17 would be their club. Located in between the Sugar Cane Mojito Bar and the Bliss Lounge, you'll find the stairs to get down to Le Bistro, which is the upcharge specialty restaurant on board for French cuisine. And that's where we're choosing to eat, dine tonight. Um, a lot of times when you uh, come to on a Norwegian cruise ship, there'll be a, a free at sea promotion. And uh, for us, for our, our special dining, we chose Le Bistro. Here's the dining room at Le Bistro. A uh, very uh, skinny dining room. Look at here on deck five. We have been sat down at our table here. And uh, here's what the menu looks like at Le Bistro. Below very expensive champagne options. Appetizers. Soups and salads. The meats, poultry, seafood, and the one vegetarian option. Now, if you are going to use one of your dining credits here, um, you do get one appetizer, one super salad, one with the entrees, and then one dessert. And like, some of these entrees are super expensive, so not the worst place to use your dining credit. The first course here in Le Bistro is French baguettes and a butter. <laughs> the first course has arrived. I got the steak tartare. Somebody I probably never order in a restaurant, but like, hey, it's, you know, I'm on, on the dining package. Uh, Molly got a soup which has scallops in it, and uh, looks really fancy. For the second course, I went very French, the French onion soup. Molly, what did you get? I got uh, croquettes. Yeah. Interesting. Um, like goat cheese croquettes. Mm-hmm. Molly, your main course looks really good. You got the lamb. Mm-hmm. And I got the beef tenderloin. Maybe Dessert time here at the bistro, there is a uh, freezer, Marquise de Chocolat, macarons, and some Starbucks beverages. Also, I think I got the wrong menu because like, these are the old liquor prices and not the current ones. And I got a whole different liquor liquor yeah, menu. Like, like here, like Bailey's on my menu, 13. Bailey's on Molly's menu, 16. 16. Uh-oh. It is time for dessert. Uh, Molly got the chocolate marquee, and I got the salted caramel. All right, so this looks a little weird. On the Lido deck, there's like five showers, so you and four of your buddies can all shower off at the same time. I think we're supposed to shower before entering the pool, but uh, it, 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 it looks weird. On deck 12, in kind of in the back of the ship, yeah. you have a golf drive range. I'm not good at golf. That was that was that was bad. Okay, you hit it, you hit it. Uh, you rent the balls in the club from the tell station, and you can play as long as you want, or maybe just around. Not you bad. Play? Yeah, yeah, not bad. I would say kudos to the party band of like a full 90s set. Deck 12 in the back of the ship, you will find Cagney's Steakhouse, another one of the upcharge restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, we've eaten at Cagney's on multiple Norwegian ships. It is really good. If it you're doing the, the five for free, it's one I highly recommend coming in and and you know making your meal at this. No, one. this one does sell out quite a bit. Yes. But it's a really good one. That chandelier is very nice. Yes. Uh, we're not going to do. We've been at a couple of them, so yes. we're going to try something else on the ship. But uh, Cagney's, it's good. And it is good. Right now we're currently on deck seven in the middle of the ship, which is home to the ship's Starbucks. A very modern looking Starbucks. Now, I don't believe this is including everything beverage plan. No. But if you have a Starbucks edition or a coffee edition, it might be your place. They also have seats with uh, 
chargers and stuff. Yeah. That's really nice. This is also going to be where you can do all your shopping on board, really. And you're going to have some fancy jewelry and watches. And then you turn on in here. Give her the sale so she can And let's take a look at the main store on board. You got uh, perfumes. Not really my thing. No. Obviously. Not Molly's thing either. No, I'm not. I'm not into but that doesn't mean we don't do any shopping on board. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I really like when we come to like shopping on board a cruise ship. And it's more like back here. I love the uh, the gift shop. Yes. And do, do you do have like fancy purses? And then you get into uh, kind of more stuff. Well, there's also very important things over here on the left. Yes. The gift shop, they will have all your tools. And sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> you could use some, you did not have anything. I did not, yeah, I, I could use some straw glasses. Um, they do have your toiletries over here, so if you forgot something, this would be where you want to look. Um, you will be paying a considerable upcharge on land. Yes, we've done that before. Yeah, I mean, that that is my brand of deodorant. I don't know what it is here. Normally it's, um, you know, two for four at Walmart. Here it might be like nine dollars. Probably. But that's not the fun stuff. The fun stuff is over here on the other side. Like your souvenir t-shirts. Uh, keychains? Keychains? This is even like Norwegian stuff. But I like this kind of stuff. Right over here. Those Christmas socks. Huh? Um, it's kind of a bold choice for a June cruise. It's almost Christmas in July. I guess, yeah. Now let's move on to more of like the Norwegian cruise stuff. I think it's putting more over here. First of all, this is something I really like. Obviously, I'm not, I don't need a purse or a lady backpack. It's a lot of merchandise. It's a cute dog. Oh, yeah. Very cute. Yeah. Maya, I really like some of this Norwegian sky merchandise, like the uh, the coaster. Yes. You have like a it's a nice stairs. coaster too. Yeah. Or like the uh, the hurricane glass, or the pint glass down there. Mm-hmm. You do have some shirts here. Uh, great surf shirts, vacation -y shirts. Some of the, the great surf shirts are really nice. Yeah, no, they're really really nice. Some more of the merchandise, something that's very popular with a lot of people, they do have the ship model. Complete with the, the very fancy hull design here on the Norwegian sky. They have uh, iPad bags, other things. Some of this is really nice, like they have like doggy water uh, or, or like luggage handles. And the one thing me and Molly, we buy on every single cruise ship. As we can. And that is the cruise ship ornament. So she's currently looking at all of them and seeing which one is the best. You got a couple of men's shirts here that are very nice, very much the traditional Norwegian cruise light polo or the rash guard style t-shirt. Now, if you're looking for a shirt or hat with the Norwegian sky on it, they do have the combo. Normally these are, uh, relatively inexpensive and they've got a Norwegian Cruise Line visor as well. You do have some more uh, female size shirts for Great Surf K that are embroidered. Can I get a um, too large? And the final corner of the store is dedicated to uh, duty-free shopping. I do love this. You got different Kinder Bueno kind of uh, plushies or characters and then all of your duty-free liquor is going to be over here. They do have a, uh, a free liquor tasting on the first night of the cruise. It was really good. And last but certainly not least, we have our stateroom. We were in an interior cabin, 8357. And I would say definitely one of the smaller interior cabins we have had. Yes. Um, some positives though, it gets very dark in here. Like there's no light leakage. You can take a nap whenever you want. And the cabin was pretty quiet. You did have a TV. TV, not the most selection of channels. You did about four movie channels, which I, I do tend to enjoy. Um, you do get one weird sports channel that is not ESPN. It is from Sports 24, so it's got a lot of 
a lot of international stuff on there, but they did have the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, a small like desk or vanity area, a closet, but definitely a, a the cabin's definitely on the smaller side. Yeah, not much storage space at all. No. Yeah, with four drawers, I think in total. Yeah, which is fine for a three-night cruise. Mm -hmm. If you're on this for a long, a long time, it could get a little, a little tricky. Uh, the bathroom was okay. Shower was weird. The shower kind of a. Uh, you would set the temperature and then it would just wave up and down, hot to cold, hot to cold, and not stay one one standard standard temperature, which was a bit annoying. Got the terrifying toilet. And then the bathroom. There we go. Alright, that'll do it for our time here on the Norwegian Sky, our three night cruise. I quite enjoyed it. Molly, what were some of your favorite parts about the Norwegian Sky? Uh the food. The main dining room food was really, really good. Yeah, we had two meals in the main dining room, both were absolutely delicious. Um, I love the private island. It stopped at Great Stirrup K, which was a lot of fun. Uh, the water temperature was awesome. The nice calm seas. Had a bunch of drinks. The beverage plan works over there, so that was good. I really enjoyed the show. The showdown. It was a very simple concept of voting uh, the singers off, uh, but it was unique. Yeah, I like the game shows, the ones they did in the Bliss Lounge. Like They were very popular, a lot of energy in those. And I like that driving grades. It's kind of neat. A lot of ships don't have something like that. And if you're a kid, you could buy that arcade package. I think having that's a really neat option. Yeah. The band also sounded really good. There was musicians all around. And my favorite was probably the band that played the 90s, 2000 alternative rock type. Yeah, style. That, that was a lot of fun watching them by the pool. Also by the pool was the glow party. Mm -hmm. uh, their big deck party was a lot of fun. They also had an activity where you got to make your own t-shirts with highlighters for the party. So I liked, I liked the bar experience. Um, a lot of people will be on the beverage plan, will be on like their free at sea promotions. And uh, they had a lot of really nice liquor brands on that. And the bar staff, man. They moved. They, they moved. They were hustling all hours of the day. And some of them were incredibly skilled, just taking like five orders at once and then making tons of drinks. Very skilled bar staff. And that sort of comes, it, um, it is kind of a party ship, especially when you go on a three-nighter. Um, the crowd is going to be much younger than you'll see on other cruise lines and the the level of intoxication could be you know you could see people completely tanked at three in the afternoon yes um i like that we didn't have to wait for the elevators mm -hmm. with it being a smaller ship i thought like okay this might be an well, issue the, uh, elevators are tiny too but yeah. we never waited and uh, they had a really solid next cruise deal so we actually booked a cruise while we were on the cruise and got a really good price so we'll be on the norwegian encore next year um and those are some of our favorite things some of our least favorite things I was not a fan of the dinner at Le Bistro. It took forever. It took forever. Um, I didn't think the service was I think the service was worse than the main dining room. The problem is it's supposed to be fine dining and the uh, crew had six to seven tables. So you're not supposed to have six to seven tables during fine dining. And the food was just okay. Yeah. Like that bill would have been like $150 and it, it, was, it, was, the wor it. it was the worst dinner we had. Yeah. We, I like Cagney is much better probably. Yeah. Um, my problem is the pre-mix mojitos. Oh, the mojito it, bar. Yeah. However, if you go to any other bar, they made the mojitos fresh. That made no sense at all. No. Um, other things, uh, the small chaos buffet. Uh, that was it's it's always crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, especially like welcome aboard lunch or breakfast time, it gets pretty, pretty, pretty wild in there. Uh, it does. I was just, cabin was pretty small. Not the biggest thing for me. I didn't like that you didn't get an ESPN or any Major League Baseball games, so I couldn't even like see the Yankees score by watching like a ticker on the bottom line because there was no ticker on the bottom line on Sports 24. No. No craft beer, though, too. That's true. While the liquor selection was really good on the beverage plan, uh, the beer selection was almost non-existent. I didn't like that the theater was rarely used. I feel like like it's not a very big ship, and that could easily be a place where they play movies or something during the day, and they just used it for nothing. And the game shows fill up, and the Bliss Lounge people had to stand. Why not move those, those game shows into the theater? Mm -hmm. Um, didn't like that there was only one bar, that sugar cane mojito bar, with a specialty drink menu. Everything else was just the same copy and paste menu. And uh, no drinks in the pool. It was uh, down for a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining about that. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know why other cruise lines, you could drink in the pool, and this one you cannot, and they are very strict about it. And I really feel like this is a ship you would book more for the destinations rather than the ship itself, being an older, smaller ship. Yep. But hey, I still had a blast. I had a oh, yeah, wonderful time on the three night tight. cruise. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you're going on the Norwegian Sky, you got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you guys didn't watch videos like this, we couldn't go on these cruise ships. So thank you so much.